In this next tutorial, we'll be adding more heroes to our application. Um, I can show you that on the GitHub, under Angular 2 Workshop, I created this Getting Started Guide. And I, in this video series, I'm going over this uh, content. Uh, and for this tutorial, adding more heroes, I will copy paste this uh, list of heroes. So I will go over to the this app component.ts and paste it under the hero class. Like this. We have uh, now the heroes list of heroes. And if I go to this um, class, I will I will add it like this. Heroes is an array of heroes. And like this. Okay. Now we will go to the HTML and display this uh, list of heroes. Um, I will save this. Go over the to the app.html and add a new heading for my heroes. My heroes like this. And create new. Um, an ordered list with a class of heroes. Uh, this class is created because we will uh, later add some styling to this. Mm, okay. And uh, we will iterate over the list item. Like this. Uh, so we iterate with for loop and the syntax is uh, this asterisk and ng4. Um, we use the block scope variable let, which is a new feature in ECMAScript, um, instead of war, and let hero of heroes. So iterate over the heroes. We will display the uh, span uh, with the class of batch, like this. Uh, here we will add the hero ID. And outside this uh, batch, we will at the hero name, so hero.name, like this. And I will comment all this out, like this. And if we go over to our application, we should be able to see these heroes, like this. OK, all the heroes are uh, displayed. And now we will add some styling to our page. So um, the separate file for styling is created here in the app component.css and I will go to the github repo and copy paste it. this styling can be added to app component.cs file like this okay and if we go back to the our app this unordered list should be styled like this okay Um, now we will add some styling for the selected hero. If we go to the HTML, um, so in this list item, we can add the class of selected. It's true if the hero of this list is selected hero. And we add a click handler event which is created like this, click. Um, we will be adding a method of on select and we pass the hero. Now we need to go to the app, uh, app component.ts and add some code for the on select method. So on select, we pass it here with type of hero. And I will add that this method is a type of void, like this. And we we will assign hero past hero to the selected hero variable. We need to also declare this selected variable. Selected hero is a type of hero, like this. Okay. And now go back to the uh, this HTML 
and we will add the section of the selected hero. We will add a new div and we will display it only if the hero is selected. So this will be done with ngif, asterisk ngif, and if selected hero is not null like this and we add the h2 um, I can just copy from here from before h2 and instead of hero we will be displaying selected hero name like this we can see if this works yes the name and the details text this place and also let's copy the other stuff for the editing of hero like this and also this label for id and uh, please correct all the hero to selected hero so selected hero dot name and that's it now if I choose a hero on this list, it should display here and the input field for editing a hero should also display and work. Here if I change, it works.